بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا وحبيبنا ونورنا وشفيعنا محمد عليه وعلى آله وصحبه أتم الصلاة والتسليم O oh, you who, who have believed, fear Allah as he should be feared and do not die except as Muslims. O oh, mankind, fear your Lord who created you from one soul and created from it its mate and spirit from both of them, many men and women, and fear Allah through whom you ask and <clears throat> one another and the womb barely Allah is ever observer over you. O oh, you who have believed, fear Allah and speak words of appropriate justice. He will then amend for you <clears throat> your deeds and forgive you your sins. And whoever obeys Allah and his messenger has certainly attained a great attainment. The mosques are filled with worshippers. And people flock to recite the book of Allah. They veer for the front row, arrive early, observe the, observe the pre and post prayer dhikr, engage in taraweeh prayers, break their fast, give charitable donation, compete in provi providing water and food for the fast, sit in the mosques after prayer, regularly complete the recitation of the Quran, Guard their tongue against any false talk. Remember Allah and act with tolerance among each other. They show kindness and maintain family ties. These blessings of this month seem endless. Isn't our current state much better than before this month and after it? What suddenly changed, changed us and made us better <clears throat> than we were? What secret transformed us into different individuals? What happened to us that altered our relationship with, with Allah? These questions are not pre perplexing, <clears throat> and it's easy to answer them. Yet we often neglect them to avoid embarrassment and to prevent feeling inadequate towards Allah the one who bestowed countless blessings upon us, which we did not fully appreciate. SubhanAllah. In this month, he assists us in self-reflection, restrain the influence of the shaitan, awaking us from our heedlessness and enabling us to worship him as he truly deserves. He commands us, Stand before Allah, devoutly obedient. Some of us stand without humility, while others stand with true devotion. He instructs us, strive for Allah with striving due to him. We strive for worldly gains and forget the hereafter. He, ur he urges us, be upright for Allah. We remain steadfast in our desires and inclinations. He desire us to attain true piety, yet we approach it with weakness and these laziness. Verily Allah rejoice in our return to him during this month because he loves the worship of those who repent and he delights in their approach to him. The Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, Allah is more pleased with the, repent with the repentance of his servant than the one who, the one of you who finds his lost camel in the desert. Doesn't this joy from him, subhanahu wa ta'ala, over, over, overwhelm us as we come closer to him? Shouldn't we feel happiness when our Lord rejoices in us? Shouldn't new life blood flow through our veins infusing us with determinations and effort for this joy from Allah. Shouldn't this joy pour upon our hearts, bringing tranquility that permeates every part of our bodies? 
is he subhanahu wa ta'ala is he in need of us to rejoice to rejoice in us no Allah subhanahu is self-sufficient while we are need needy toward him however he's generous loving the worship of those who repent he forgives their slips and overlooks their mistakes encouraging them to return to him and motivating them to find happiness and closeness to him subhanahu wa ta'ala rather than misery and separation here he is bestowing upon us this month so that we may return to him and experience the joy of worship indeed from very first hour of this month we have sensed that joy and here he is granting us this month to taste to the sweetness of obedience we now receive it differently than before in, than before ramadan and here he is gifting us this month to feel the blessings of distancing ourselves from the whisper of the shaitan sisters and brothers you have rejoiced your lord be aware of turning back do not step backward after taking steps forward. Make this month a launching point for ascending the ladder of piety instead of descending into sinful depth. Do not consider Allah as your least observant of you. Increase in act of obedience and place barrier between yourselves and shaitan through the righteous deeds. As Allah say, Stay in the bounty of Allah and his mercy. In that, let them rejo rejoice. It is better than, <clears throat> than what they ac accumulate. My brothers and sisters, the secret that keeps you steadfast in obedience and enable you to surpass it, surpass it, it lays in paying attention to your heart. Yes. Ibad Allah, your hearts. The Prophet والسلام, said, Verily, in the body there is a piece of flesh. If it becomes sound, the whole body becomes sound. But if it becomes correct, the whole body becomes correct. Verily, it is the heart. The Messenger of Allah والسلام, was the leader of mankind the best of creation, and he was infallible. Paradise was granted for him. He was deeply concerned with the uh, ratification of his heart, subhanAllah, giving, giving it its, its utmost attention and care. It is uh, authentically reported that he used to, to supplicate, Allahumma ja'al fi qalbi nura. Oh Allah, place light in my heart. And he also did the dua of, Oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from a heart that does not humble itself. The Prophet's profound concern for, <clears throat> concern for his heart <clears throat> steamed from his knowledge that Allah does not look at appearance or wealth, but he looks at the hearts and the deeds. Yes, yes indeed, the heart is the essence and upon it revolves everything. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said, the heart is the foundation and when it possesses knowledge and will, that naturally extend to the body. The body cannot deviate from what the heart desires. It is narrated that Prophet ﷺ said, The faith of a servant will not be upright until his heart is upright. Therefore, whoever desire to rectitude in his affairs and betterment of his status, let him work to rectify his heart and strive for obedience to his Lord. Also, Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said, the more heart loves Allah, the more it becomes devoted to him. And the more devoted it becomes, the more love and freedom 
it experience from everything else. The heart will not find, find rectitude, success, delight, tranquility, peace, or contentment, cont contentment, except through worshiping Allah, loving Allah, and turning to Allah, even if it were to gain everything it desires from this creation, from this world. It would not find tranquility and peace, for there is an inherent needness of the self to its Lord, from, he, from whom it seeks worship, love, and return. Therefore, <clears throat> we are in need of fasting beyond the fasting of the limbs. It is the fasting of the heart. The fasting heart preoccupied with thoughts of the hereafter and seeking closeness to Allah. The fasting heart is liberated from the love of this world and its desires, seeking higher bliss and eternal comfort. The fasting heart is free <clears throat> from hate, enmities, harboring no ill towards fellow Muslims, but rather forgiving for, for forgiving them and enduring their harm and ignorance. The fasting heart is humble, devo devo devoid of pride and arrogance, not exalting itself on earth. The fasting heart is sincere, seeking nothing but the pleasure of Allah, finding joy only in his love, remembrance, gratitude, and worship. Therefore, let us focus on our inner selves more than our outward appearance. For Allah looks not at our forms or will, but our hearts and deeds. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, place light in our heart, in our ears, in our eyes. Ya Allah, we seek refuge in you from hearts that do not humble themselves, from eyes that do not shed tears, from prayers that go unheard. O oh Allah, grant our souls piety and purify them. You are the best to purify them. You are the guard, guardian and master. Sallallahu sallam ala Sayyiduna Muhammad. Bismillah, Bismillah, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli wa sallim ala Sayyiduna wa Habibuna wa Shafi'ana Muhammad. Beloved sisters and brother, the world has not witnessed tribulation like the, those occurring in Gaza during this time. Yet their ordeal is mixed with acceptance, dignity, resilience, sacrifice, and redemption. They face death, distraction, displacement, wounds, fear, disease, famine, foreign aggression, and abandonment by their Muslim neighboring countries. They are in a state of adversity and distress known only to Allah. As this month of Ramadan approaches them amid all of this, they are endure. <clears throat> they endure. It sympathizes to bond of it's 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 emphasized to the bond of faith and unity among Muslims. It calls upon us to empathize with their situation, to feel their suffering during fasting, not just during moments of hunger and thirst, but at every moment. When you feel bangs of hunger and thirst and the discomfort they bring, remember that our family in Gaza began fasting and enduring hunger five months ago. Five months ago. Yet they have not broken their fast. While your hunger, thirst, and fatigue end at sunset with a meal and refreshment, their fasting does not end with food and drink, but with wounds in their body, loss of shelter, sorrow for lost loved one, separation from friends, deprivation from food, medicine, shelter, and clothes. We are safe and secure among our family and children. 
and they endure bombing, fears, fear without aid or support. Their condition is beyond imagination, yet they possess the weapon of faith, anticipation, clear victory. So let us be their supporter, their supporter with our with our feelings, their ally with our thoughts, their, re, their reinforcement with our dua and prayers, their aid with our voice, action, donation, and assist them in every possible way until Allah, the all-wise Subhan, relieve their suffering and grant them what they hope for. For God is capable and most people are unaware. O oh Allah, Ya Allah, the helper of those in need, the responder to those in distress, the most merciful of, of, of the merciful, relieve the people of Gaza from their fear and grant them security. Use us to aid them, help us to be their support and never let us forsake them. O oh Allah, make this Ramadan a clear victory and triumph for them. وصلى الله وسلم على سيدنا وحبيبنا ونبينا محمد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته